Hey guys, welcome to episode 33 of my investment journey series. The series we do right here on my YouTube channel where I take you through my Trade212 portfolio, look at how things are. Just in case you've not seen me before, my name's Ian, I'm from Scotland. I started investing at the beginning of April as we first entered a lockdown here in the UK. Figured it was a good time to get into the market, start investing, start my investment journey. So that is what I've been doing. And I've been documenting this entire journey now for 33 weeks, which is mental long time and I've managed to stay consistent, keep bringing you guys updates, keep myself accountable. And if you want to follow somebody who is a beginner to this world, who's only been doing it for 33 weeks, like I say, then consider hitting that subscribe button below, follow my journey, and let's see where I end up in five years. When I came out with last week's update on my trade in 212, we had just had the amazing news that Pfizer came out with and announced to the world that we'd all been craving for their news about their vaccine that was showing a 90% effectiveness rate against COVID. Stock market especially went mental, shot up into the green for a lot of people. Things rallied, like they've not rallied all year. My investments went shooting up. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of mine went, you know, sky high to the moon, as they say, all my stocks went to the moon. So yeah, that was good news. Yesterday, which is just 16th of November, this is 17th of November today, so yesterday, came up with more good news. Moderna, which is another pharmaceutical company, they have announced a vaccine that they've been working on, which is a 95% effectiveness rate. The difference with this vaccine is it can remain stable at temperatures that don't require extreme ultra cold storage. From what I understand, compared to the Pfizer vaccine, so it means it's easier to store, it's easier to transport. So in general, it should be easier to get out there into the world, into the people who need it. So yeah, lots of good news the past two weeks in the stock market, it's good to actually kind of come out with some good news instead of all the bad news that we've had all the weeks previous. I said this in two week, my video two weeks ago, I think it was. I said, what if things just keep getting better from here? What if things keep climbing? So I had a lot of questions from people saying, is now the good, a good time to start investing? Should I wait for another crash? Should I wait for things to dip again, then put my money into the stocks? And my argument was, yeah, but what if things just don't get, get any worse? What if things just, like I say, get better, keep climbing? If you didn't invest at the time you thought you were going to, you'd just regret it. Again, it all comes back to the whole, you cannot time the market, people. So don't try and do it because you just can't do it. And if you can do it, let me know what's going to happen because I really appreciate it. With that being said, like I say, lots of good news this week. We'll get into my Trading212 portfolio as always. I'll take you over to my iPhone. We'll go through my investments. I'll show you guys what's been happening. If you're new here, like I say, my name's Ian. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that like button. Really do appreciate it. And let's try and get this video out there to more people who are beginner investors, those looking to do better with their money, with their savings, instead of just stashing in a bank, hoping for the best and earning a pathetic £20 interest in the whole year. Let's look to grow our money better through investing, through the stock markets, all that good stuff. So yeah, consider subscribing. Let's jump over to my investments as always, and we will speak again soon. Here we are guys on my Trade212 app on my iPhone. Let me just say straight up, it's now 10 to 1 in the morning. So I hope you guys appreciate the dedication and the consistency with me in these videos. Like I was saying earlier, 10 to 1 in the morning, I'm up in 6, 7 hours for work and yeah, I need to get this video done because I don't want to fall behind. So here we go. Straight into the Trading212 portfolio and we've got a low battery warning which is slightly worrying but 20% that should be plenty to get us through. Looking at the weekly view like we always do and we head to last week and we can see the portfolio return was 644 pound, six pence, so 6.57% in the green. That was last Wednesday. So we went from 6.57% and we're now sitting at 8.64%. So we had that return of 644 pounds and now we're at 906 pounds, 38 pence. So I did actually add some more money to my Trading212 account recently and I will get into that and I'll show you what I've done. But let me just quickly show you as always, ISA utilization is now sitting at 45%. And that is like I say, because I did increase some of my, I put some of my savings into my Trading212 account. So it has increased the ISA limit there. And I'm getting closer to the max, but I'm still quite a little bit to go. So you get the limit of 20,000 pound in 2020. So the portfolio overall is now 11,397 pound, 33 pence in value. And let me just say that return of £906.36, that is the highest that this has ever been. 
and that 8.64% is just amazing to see, especially after the last few weeks when things have been extremely red, so this is just brilliant news all around. Let's head to the history section of my Trading212 account and I will show you the deposit I did recently. So 16th of November, so literally just two days ago, I put another £500 of my savings into my Trading212 account. Must admit that's one thing lockdown has definitely helped with. I'm saving a lot more money because, let's be honest, we can't go out and spend it. So with that £500 that I put into my Trading212 account, I ended up buying a few more things. So I increased my position in iShares Core S&P 500, in the FTSE 100, in the S&P 500 again, in my Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets ETF, in the Vanek Vectors Gaming ETF, and also bought more units in Shell. Checking dividends for the past week, and we can see there's not been any received. So the total dividends since I started investing in April is still at £97.69. Heading back to the portfolio view, and I'll come down to the bottom investment first, and we'll start from there. So Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets, this is up 1.52% from last week. Vanek Vectors Video Gaming ETF, that's up 2.86% from last week. Starbucks investment, that's up 4.99% from last week. The Smile Direct Club, this was a free share I received from you guys. So big thanks again to whoever signed up through my referral links. I got this free share and that is now up 3.42% from last week. I'm absolutely ecstatic to announce that my Shell investment is finally back in the green. It's been a long time. I knew it would pay off eventually and thankfully it has. It's 6.10% up from last week. Absolutely amazing. Shell has been on a steady, not even a steady, it's been on a rapid decline since lockdowns were announced. So it's it's so good to see it back in the green. This has been an investment I've continually added into. And I've not dollar cost average, pound cost average my way down. And I'm gonna to continue to add to this because I honestly do believe Shell in the long run will come out of this whole lockdown and pandemic situation in a much stronger position. And yeah, a lot of faith with Shell. So it's one I'm gonna to continue to hold. National Grid, my five free shares, weekly view, 0.74% down from last week. First bit of red we've seen. McDonald's, weekly view, 1.28% up from last week. Legal and General Group, 7.08% up from last week. Again, one of my favorite UK stocks, as I always mention. The iShares S&P 500 Healthcare Sector ETF, 0.58% up from last week. I actually thought this one would be doing a bit better by now, especially considering all the news around the vaccines coming out and whatnot, but who knows, maybe it's still got a bit of time to catch up. The iShares Physical Gold ETF, that's 0.7% down from last week. It's not as much of a drop as I thought it would be, to be honest. Usually when everything's doing really well and the economy's starting to boom again, gold does drop slightly from what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like that has happened, but not as drastically as I thought it would have. The iShares NASDAQ 100, weekly view, 2.58% up from last week. Again, with all the news around the vaccines coming out and the fact that people are starting to put a lot more emphasis into the stock markets, into investment. Tech has fallen slightly, and obviously the NASDAQ 100 relies a lot on technology, but it's still good to see it slightly increased from last week and back in the green. The iShares Global Clean Energy ETF, 2.15% up from last week. So again, brilliant news, and that's definitely a long-term hold for me and one that I'm gonna to continue to hold and add for many, many years. The iShares Core S&P 500 ETF, my biggest holding on my portfolio, and for good reason. This is up 1.82% from last week. And yeah, absolutely chuffed with this one. Definitely a long-term hold again. The iShares Core FTSE 100 ETF, this is one that I've increased my position in again slightly as you saw near the start of this video. So 0.85% up from last week. Again, with all the vaccine news and whatnot, it's just something else that's been pushed up. Hive Group, weekly view, 25.06% up from last week. That's a massive jump up for Hive Group. This is always one that I took a bit of a gamble on, so it's good to see that starting to turn around and go towards the positive, and we're nearly back in the green here. My EasyJet share, this was again a free share from somebody signing up through a referral link, so again, big thank you to whoever did that. It seems that Trading212 are starting to push out EasyJet shares a lot just now for people who are, just, who are getting a free share through Trading212. So 
This is a new one to me. So yeah, my one share with EasyJet, it's 7.83% up from last week. Again, I, that's all down to the news around the vaccines. Cine World Group, my 200 shares, that's actually down 0.14% from last week. So it's not too much of a drop. We can see recently it has climbed sharply. That was when the vaccine was first announced two weeks ago. And yeah, it's, it's only starting to get better. And it's just like I say, the slight drop this past week. And American Airlines, my two free shares, that is 2.58% up from last week. Heading over to my pies and looking at my busy pie, my holdings in the busy pie, so McDonald's and Starbucks. I've still not added anything else here because I'm still a bit hesitant to do so. And we can see there McDonald's is the one that's kind of dragging us back ever so slightly. And Starbucks has actually shot out quite, quite a fair distance ahead there, £15.79 in the green. And McDonald's is minus £9.85. But overall, this busy pie is in the green. It's uh, showing a positive return of £5.94, so 1.35% up with this one. So here's how the portfolio allocation is now looking. S&P 500 still right at the top, 23.54%, followed by the FTSE 100, then Shell. Yes, I guess it is a bit risky taking nearly 15% of my whole portfolio relying on Shell, especially when you consider the FTSE 100 has Shell as one of their biggest holdings. So I've got a lot of money invested in Shell. But it does seem to be working out for me so far. The question I need to ask myself is when do I sell out a shell? And the answer for me is not anytime soon. So we're just going to see how this goes over the next few months. But I do think it will still be quite a long term hold for me. FTSE Emerging Markets and then the NASDAQ 100. Then everything below that is under the 6% mark. So yeah guys, it's been a really positive few weeks, like I say, and the investment for me that has definitely shown the most improvement has to be my Shell investment. So looking at this here, the three monthly view, you can see it was just constantly dropping, dropping, dropping. And then when the news around the first vaccine came out, it just shot right up. And then again, the other vaccine earlier this week's made it shoot up again. So long may this continue for Shell and all my other stocks that are in a similar way. As always guys, if you want to get involved in the world of investing like me, if you're a beginner, you're looking for a platform to start investing in, I recommend Trading212. It's the app that you've seen me use here. It's the app I've used for all my videos so far. It's extremely easy, it's quick, it's no hassle. And if you sign up through my link that you can see here on the screen, I'll make sure this is in the comments section below. It'll also be in the description of this video. If you click on that link, create an account, you might have to download the app to your phone, create an account, deposit a pound, you will then receive a free share worth up to £100 on Trading212 and I will also receive a free share worth up to £100 on Trading212. So it's definitely worth doing, highly recommend it. When I first created my Trading212 account, I sadly didn't go through, through somebody's referral link, so I never actually got a free share. So I highly recommend that you guys out there who are looking to sign up, go through a link such as mine and you'll get a free share, like I say, up to £100. If you do end up doing this, let me know in the comments section below in this video what the free shares you receive and I'll let you know what I receive too. Thanks again for watching guys. As always, please hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. I really hope all your investments are working out for you guys. And let me know in the comments section below how things have been for you these past few weeks and what you're planning to do next. And like I say, I just hope it all works out for you guys. And if you are interested in finding out anything else, leave my comment below. Let's get some more discussions going on here because I love building up this community here we've got on YouTube. And until then, I will leave it there and we will speak again and see you in the next video. Thanks again.